So the first thing we want to do here is we want to check the screen and as you can see my screen was cracked here. Um, long story but it's really a short one right now. Um, I used to have my laptop beside my Xbox 360 and you know the USB plugs that plug into it. Well one day I plugged it in and I went to pull the plug out. Um, I was actually far enough away when I went to blow the plug out and it bounced out and hit the side of the screen and it cracked it um, and uh, so I bought a new screen replacement and I'm just doing a video of how to take apart the laptop and install the new screen safely. Um, so pretty much uh, I used to use I use that that new screen right there it's pretty good for gaming but I kinda actually want to get my laptop back up and running so there's the new screen in the, the packaging I just got it shipped today I shipped it uh, it got shipped I think it was uh, three days ago and it got here today uh, so the first thing you want to do is power off your laptop and unplug everything um, which is practically what you always do when you do a um, the removal of anything with your laptop so I'm unplugging stuff here okay so my laptop is an R RF 711 so um, you will need a 17.3 inch screen uh, 18 point something as you can see right here it measures up to 18 so a 7.3 will fit your screen uh, as you can see I measured it there you want to measure your screen before you buy a screen replacement because you won't know which one will work that's why I measured it um, so you better measure it before before, before doing so So to take apart this screen here, you'll see the screws in each corner and there will be, um, uh, which I'll show you here in a few seconds, but I, first we want to take the battery out, like I said, um, you always want to remove the battery, as I showed here. Now I'm not sure if your batteries are in the same spot, but you just click those two little things, the little brackets holding it into place, and then slide it out. And now I'm going to show you how to take the cover off this screen. So there's these little tiny little uh, pads over the top of the screws, um, and I will show you. Uh, I won't show you how to remove those, but you just get a, a, screw, a flathead screwdriver or you know just a flathead. Uh, to remove those so these are all all the screws that I used I use this this little small little uh, end piece because I stripped all my screws trying to get them out uh, so if you have like a small enough screwdriver or a small enough uh, flathead uh, um, uh, screwdriver you can uh, get stripped screws out pretty easy like I did So I'm showing you where all the screws are on the uh, case. I already took them all out because, like I said, they were all stripped. And I actually kind of broke the plastic a bit because one of the screws, I couldn't get it out. So I had to break the plastic off. But uh, anyway, um, so now you just snap the screen off. It's pretty easy. It's actually pretty easy to break it too. So you want to take your time with it. So once you get down to the bottom part here, you should be able to snap the bottom part off. Uh, and to get the uh, little um, uh, brackets out of there, you need to pull up to towards the um, the left side of it, and then pull uh, left like inward, outward, or inward or outward. It's either way for both of them. You just gotta pull up on it real, real, real um, easy. To get it out. So once that's done, you'll see that there's a couple screws and there's the the webcam. You gotta unplug that first. 
so make sure you unplug that. I know I kind of didn't really get a good shot of that, but you have to unplug that first. So now you'll see these screws here. You'll see two there and two here. Now you want to loosen those just a bit, not too much. As I show you how to do this side, but kind of really couldn't um, record the other side too much. But you got to do that screw and that one just a bit. And just like that on the other side, the same thing. So now once that's done, um, I found another screwdriver that I had to use to get the uh, small little screws off the side of the case. Um, I'm not really sure where I got the screw, but it's small enough to get those screws off um, on the side. So now once those screws are off, I really didn't have uh, any type of recording skills for that to show you how to get those off. And yeah, <laughs> anyway, uh, you just take that top piece off pretty much all to it right there and now you drop down the screen that you're going to um, be replacing and take out the piece now you're gonna wanna save that little sticker on there uh, so stick it to something like the case or something like that uh, and gently rip off the uh, plastic that's on the uh, the uh, thing so you don't rip that like I said I put something down over top of the keyboard so that um, I didn't get any dirt on the new screen or anything like that. So now that you've removed the old screen, put in the new one. Just make sure you're putting it over top of something that's good. Uh, and now the new screen will be pu be putting. I'll be putting the new screen down, like I said, just showing you that uh, you got to put something over the keyboard if you don't want to get your screen all messed up. So here we go. Um, this is the new screen. You gotta rip off this tape here. Sometimes there might be tape on yours like that. Uh, there's also another like there's also a cover to it, but yeah, whatever. So basically, take the tape off. Now we're gonna put the uh, back piece back in place. Make sure you get the the key in in the right um, in all the way before putting the screen together. There's no need to actually uh, uh, stick it to the back of the case just yet until you get the key in. And you see that I had a little bit of trouble with that sticker. Um, you gotta make sure you put it like in a, cr a crisscross type way so that it doesn't come undone. As you can see, I, I had to come fix it a couple times, and there, I finally got it. So I'm kind of fixing the way it is, then now it looks pretty good. Um, so... Now we're going to put the screen back on together. Now to get that back in place, you just put it back in place. Now you start from the bottom with the screws. Put all the screws in first, but don't tighten them all down. But start from the bottom. The bottom two, and then go to the middle row, and then the top row. And then make sure you fasten it all down pretty good. And uh, make sure you actually put um, the the bottom black screws back in which I didn't show you there, but make sure you re-tighten those all the way down and then put the cover back on and then flip it back over and put the battery back in like I'm showing you here. Just make sure you put those screws back in because if they're loose, um, the screen will be moving inside the case and you don't want that. Um, so here's a little bit of a thing with what I used. That's to get strip screws undone um, I'm not sure where you can get any of these. I just found them laying around. Um, so, 
And like I said, that's small enough to fit in the hole to get the strip screws out of there, like I'm showing you here. And that, that doesn't actually work. That one would work, because it's a smaller piece. And that one also works for getting the screws out of the case, like I, like I showed you here, it fits in the hole. But as you can see, the the uh, screen works. First time I booted it up, it worked. So I did the installation correctly the first time, with no experience in, of how to install a, uh, a laptop screen, and I did it the first time with practically no help, because uh, I I don't think I actually watched a tutorial vid on how to install my laptop screen. So, um, yeah. Anyway, it looks pretty good and um, pretty uh, neat uh, that I could get it replaced. And I put the old screen back in the bag because there's no point in leaving it laying around. <laughs> and hope you enjoy the tutorial and subscribe for more videos.